Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. So a little bit of a departure from the recent topics. Today, I would like to talk about divine love. And if you have followed me for a while, you know that I have escaped <laughs> Not one, but uh, multiple narcissistic relationships. Um, had a narcissistic father, and then the uh, fathers of my three children. I do have two fathers for my three children. Um, were both narcissists, and it has been a long journey. And oftentimes, I will wait until a lesson has sort of wrapped up or completed before speaking about it. And I'm finally coming to a place where I am ready to share my learnings and share my experience and more so share in this particular video, what does good love look like? And oftentimes I find that because we live in a society um, that is rife with narcissistic behavior, um, that culturally that is encouraged, um, that it is something that we are all conditioned, especially as women to accept and um, maybe even as men conditioned to be. And um, certainly, you know, narcissistic behavior um, is difficult to diagnose and um, oftentimes uh, psychological professionals will refrain from diagnosing someone because it is so difficult to pinpoint. Um, it is very manipulative. It is very covert, very um, subtle. And so it can be difficult for someone who has experienced it to articulate what exactly has happened. And I don't necessarily want to focus on narcissism, but rather, like I said, what good love looks like. And what I was getting at there was because we live in a society that normalizes all this, we kind of question what it, what is good, what does good look like? What is a good example? And even for us who have not had good examples growing up in in early childhood, or you know, if we were not blessed with the the example even of a mentor or an outside family friend, we may not know what to be looking for, what to work towards, how to work with a partner. Um, and let me know if there's interest, if there's interest in more videos around healing from narcissism or more videos around cultivating divine love, which is what I would prefer to talk about. And then also if there's more interest in attachment styles, because understanding the dynamics of the person on the other side is really, really critical. And because I work with so many people who are healing from complex trauma and overcoming that unworthiness wound, that would mean that we as the people who have experienced either the complex trauma or have worked on healing the unworthiness wound, we likely are going to encounter something on the other side that is similar. We, we you know, we're looking at close to 60% of the population has um, danced in and out of um, unhealthy attachment styles. And so it's really about understanding the triggers on the other side, who, who may be triggered by what, and loving them enough to recognize that that is not something that they can just forego. The triggers never fully go away. They are minimized and they can be managed. And we, as the person holding the trigger, have the responsibility to heal them to the point that they don't impact uh, our lives negatively or our partners negatively. Um, so if you have interest in any of those topics, please do let me know because I, I would love to do more videos. I especially have an interest in um, attachment styles, whether you um, are, are capable of healthy attachment or if you dance in and out of healthy attachment and, and other attachment styles. Um, and then as well as, like I said, if you have interest in understanding more about how to cultivate divine love or even healing from narcissism. I would love to hear from you um, because I'm happy to make more videos around those topics if I see that there is interest. So I do need to hear from you on that. Um, so what I wanted to share with you today is uh, a journal entry um, that I actually found myself reflecting on and it seemed important. Um, in fact, I did a TikTok video around sort of what I'm looking for in divine love, and it has over a hundred thousand views now. So clearly, clearly, it's a uh, a very popular topic. So I will share that piece with you, but I also wanted to share a lead-in, which I did not put in the the TikTok video. So, um, yeah. So starting off with the the piece that was shared in the TikTok video. Um, what does good love look like, right? So we've asked that question many times before, at least I have, and I'm sure others have too. So 
what does good love look like? It looks like, give me a second here. Real love comes from wholeness and authenticity. It gives and does not take excessively. It holds space for all that you are and does not try to change you. It is a feeling of calm and peace and acceptance of what is an allowance of what will be. It complements verbally and energetically. It is respectful and does not behave in hurtful ways. When harm is inadvertently caused, there is remorse and the behavior is corrected. That's the key. <laughs> we can make mistakes. We just have to learn from them, right? There are mutual goals and aligned values, priorities, belief systems. There is a willingness to come together and to, and to negotiate mutually agreeable solutions to misalignments. Love is kind and gentle, optimistic and positive, uplifting, loyal, and unwavering. It nurtures and it builds you up. Real love is consistent and reliable. It cannot be controlled. It can be counted on. And it is always there when you need it. There is no ego, but a deep commitment to truth and raw authenticity. We are honest about our own shit and we put in the work to address any traumas or triggers. Authenticity and integrity are a high priority. So that is the short version. And unknowingly, I had written something similar, um, but more in a private manner that was just intended to be sort of the, the list of things I look for. Um, but I felt that this was pretty important too. Right. Um, oh, here we go. So what I had written is when I finally do find my soulmate and highest version of love, most divine, sacred and pure love, I suspect I will also feel butterflies and anticipation like I am feeling right now. I look forward. <clears throat> I look forward to a profound space of love where we hold each other on multiple planes of existence, existence a mystical and magical and mysterious connection, a deep yearning for each other in all ways, a love that causes the heart to swell with love so profoundly. It feels it may burst, but that swell of love, it overflows into abundance of joy, creation, and bliss. A love where we contain each other and hold space for each other. We fully see and allow, fully respect, nurture, and support all that is between us. Where we become one and yet still stand so strongly beside one another, we are sovereign beings. Our connection creates a sacred space and we are dedicated to loving, supportive, honest communication and support each other and their growth on all levels, especially the spiritual path to experience the most intimate and safe of connections ever intended by our creator. A connection and an intimacy that reaches beyond the physical realm and touches all aspects of our being, especially our energy. A strong psychic and energetic connection that is full in every cell of our body, as if our heart beats as one, facilitating self-actualization and liberation. We are safe in vulnerability and sensitivity, where we are truly seen, felt, heard, encouraged, accepted, and loved. There is a need for detachment, no grasping or worrying, no insecurity, only freedom, expansion, joy, creation, expression, allowing, freedom, trust, and intimacy with the divine and with the greater plan. That, my friends, is how I define what good love looks like. I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree? Is there anything you would add or subtract? I'd hate to take away any of that, but you never know. To each his own, I honor your path 
and I hope this has served you. Let me know what you would like to see more of as it relates to this topic or the topics I had mentioned earlier. If you would like to be sure to be notified of any videos like this that I make in the future, do be sure to click this subscribe button. Otherwise, if you prefer to see something similar to what I've made before, you can check this video out. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you like this, please do like, like and subscribe and comment so I know and I can make more content like this. All right. Have a great day, my friends. Namaste.